Hi, Carrots here from Port Monkeys. And today we are on the Euro Dam, Holland America's Euro Dam. And we are down on deck one in the atrium, which goes up three decks, but it's only this big, you see. It's only this big, so deck two, deck three. And we're gonna cruise on right over here. They're cleaning this morning, like they do every morning. And this is the service desk, guest services. And so there's these kind of desks everywhere. This is a, a scale for weighing your luggage, I guess. Those went out before. Stairs going up. Um, this is your shopping expert. See, communications office. Map Africa, okay. I got all sorts of uh, artworks around. And future cruise person is right here. And then those are like officers' offices. And that's it for deck one. Other than you could go down along these cabins, down this hallway, and get to the theater. The lower level of the theater is down there. But we're gonna go up first to deck two. So I'm on deck two now. That's where we started, right down there. This is the atrium still. It's got that sculpture or whatever. This is the Pinnacle Bar. Hi. And uh, it's here and so named because the Pinnacle Grill is right over to the right here, which is the steakhouse. Quick look in here. They're playing loud music. I mean, it's soft music, but they're playing it loud. So, and it's competing with uh, popular music. This is the starboard side. We come to the art gallery. Guess how much that weighs? Like Lincoln Center Stage. They do concerts or, you know, performances here. They probably can even show movies or whatever. Then there's this little uh, room. And if we go back further, digital workshop. So you can learn how to make things in there. And if we go back a little further, hi. it's the dining room. Now the dining room is two levels and it's just called dining room. So this is the lower level of the dining room. And there's a stair case two of them actually curling around and going up to level two but it's a pretty big dining room we're gonna go this way to the dining room again and they've got the doors closed They're probably not locked so I'll go this way now you'll notice there's tables and chairs by the windows on that side but not on this side. I guess this is the kitchen or something. But from here, we can go forward. We're on promenade deck three. We could also go outside, but they don't want us going on that side. Well, I think you can get all the way around the ship. So let's head this way. This is going aft towards the back of the ship. So it's a little noisy back here, but this is the back of the ship. And that's our wake. And that's the dining room. And now we're crossing from starboard to port. The left side. Starboard being the right. So we came from the very back of the ship there where we crossed over. And we're heading forward on deck three. And they've got these uh, recycling cans and it's a nice wide area with deck chairs but you know there's only four deck chairs here and there are other places where you can go in and out this is a pair of glass elevators that face out to the sea and there's another pair on the other side so we're outside some of the exterior glass elevators and I decided to treat you they say Friday, because today's Friday, and we're going to go all the way up. 
and you can see what it's like. So that was deck three, four, five, six, seven, maybe I don't need to count. And we are in deck the observation 11. deck. Observation. See tamarind bar? Other side. Now here's a whole lot more deck chairs, plus a way back in. But our goal is the front of the ship, and I think what you're going to find, up at the front it's all enclosed, and you can't really be the king of the world. But now we're up in the front, and, uh, you know, here's where they varnish the handrails, and imagine there's storage in these rooms. That's the front of the ship, right there. So there's nothing to see here in the front of the ship, but you can walk all the way around. Let's head back in. Three laps, one mile, or 1.6 kilometers, and this is where we came out. So we'll go back in this way. And the Wonder Photoshop. The Wonder Photoshop. Bring your story home. Wonder and create. Now they also have Joe Craig Black Label professional portraits, right? GoPro, GoPro, GoPro. This is the Ocean Bar. The Ocean Bar. And, and we've played trivia here, but only once. They do it, they mix it up. They also have the uh, art shows here sometimes. And they also have a guy playing a piano. So this is the Ocean Bar, Ocean Bar area. Uh, we're now midship, and I've crossed back over to port. And we're headed back. Um, these are the shops, and there's really only two. I call them this shop and that shop. This is clothes and souvenirs. This is jewelry and watches. And this is the Marabella Luxury Collection. And I guess it's a room where they take you to sell you Marabella jewelry. So, Stuviescent Room. We are at the forward elevators and stairs. And so we're going to go right around the bend here. Another way out. Main stage theater. Main stage. And we are up at the top. Deck three is the top. The upper strata. See that? And I'm going to go down there. Just so you can get a better look. So I'm actually on stage now. I'm on the stage and it's a nice theater and it doesn't get filled up or at least not when I've been in here but it does have poles that you have to avoid um, so I'm gonna go back up to three so I'm back at the top here's your sound and huh, video person lights camera action um, they put on some good shows here a lot of lectures though in movies. So we're heading aft again on deck three. We went back to the atrium and back down to deck two because we didn't go forward on deck two. But this is the midship elevator and stairs. Hi. And so we're heading forward again but on deck two. I want to show you a couple important things like B.B. King's Blues Club and this is it and they play music in here but they watch football in here yesterday uh, they do trivia in here sometimes they do uh, a multitude of things it's a multi-purpose room and it's got a bar so I had to talk really loud over that music but 
Now we're heading forward again on the starboard side of deck two. We're entering the casino. But before we get to the casino, or maybe as part of the casino, is Billboard on Board. And we played trivia in here once. At night they do dueling pianos, you see that? And this is the ship's casino. And there's another little set of slot machines in a room there. Um, and they have relatively new machines. So they must have replaced them since 2015. This ship was built in 2008. And according to my records, it was last refurbished in 2015. These machines are not from 2015. They're more recent. And that's the theater again, but from deck two. So we're going up, we're back on deck three now. We're gonna go up a few decks because it's mostly passenger cabins from now on until we get to the top. So I stopped in on deck seven, port side. And there's something here called the Neptune Lounge. And the windows are all frosted, so I can't show you. But it's a lounge for people in fancy suites, Neptune suites, you might say. To deck nine forward. And you can go around that way or around that way. So this is the greenhouse spa and salon. And this is the desk. If I go aft, there's swimming pools. If I go over this way, ah, this is where the fitness center lives. And it's down this hall right there. So I'm just going to take a little spin around in it. It opens at six. And we're doing a class in here. Free weights over there, sunrise, and that's the fitness center towels but we're on deck nine and we're gonna go aft on the port side and those doors are automatic and in there I don't know if you could see it is a big hot tub I think that's for the use of the spa so I don't know if anyone can use it you could ask and this is one of the pools the Lido pool and bar and they can cover it, and they've left it covered the whole time. Of course, we were in Alaska. Alaska. The padded chairs, towels already there, little tables. Um, and that, of course, is the Lido bar. Quick look, big hot tub, spa, little ones. And this is a real tree. So that's the Lido bar. And over here is a place called Dive In, and it's for hamburgers and hot dogs. See that Dive In? And I think they open about 11. Of course, we crossed over to Starboard, and we're heading aft still. Hi. Right. And we are in the Lido Market, the modern marketplace. So the ship's buffet. And like I say, it's pretty early in the morning. This place gets pretty crowded. And it goes across to the other side. In fact, let's cross over there because this is Canaletto, the Italian restaurant on the ship. It's like a section of the buffet is a restaurant. And they have food on both sides. And of course, tables and chairs on both sides. So like I say, it goes all the way across, get your own coffee and tea, cereal. And if we go further aft, Sea View Pool. This is the other ship's pool. And it's called, and here's the Sea View Bar. This is the pizza place, New York Pizza. That's the smoking area over there. The starboard side of Deck 9 aft. There's a big pool here, hot tub, and a wide open deck. If you need the wide open spaces, this is where you want to come. Here's a good look at the ship from deck nine. 
Let's go up to 10. 10. That's deck 11. That's the sports court. And you can see you can go up there and up even further up there. The only outside part of this is that is just right to the other side of this wall, then you have to go in. Let's cross over to port and see what happens. And there's the sunrise. Now you'll notice there's not a stairwell over here. There's that one. But as soon as you get to the top of it, it says crew only. So if you want to go up there, you got to go this way, where we were. It's got this uh, rubbery surface, but this is deck 11. And I see a lot of people up here playing pickleball. I haven't seen anybody playing basketball or soccer or anything else. But I suppose it's first come first serve, I don't know. Anyway, that's as much as you can do back here. Where we came from, there's the sports court. Now there's a stairway going up and a stairway going up further, but there's a sign up there that says crew only. So there's lounge chairs and stuff up there, but it's crew only. Now maybe that's a COVID thing, I don't know, but we're not going up there. So we're gonna go around this way. We're heading forward on the starboard side of deck 10. This is the top of the glass elevator. starboard side that was the midship elevator back there and this is the cover for the pool see covered pool and that's the retreat going in right here and this is club how this is the kids area and there aren't a lot of kids on this cruise and it's locked, so I'm not going to go in and show you any of it. Doesn't look like. Whoops. Let's walk across. And this is the loft. This is like for teenagers, I think. Again, there's not a lot on board. But I guess they take pretty good care of them. And it's locked. Let's try to get to deck 11 forward and this is the tamarind bar and it's a nice bar because it overlooks everything see that out over the ocean and there's a, a little bar here and it is outside the tamarind restaurant which is Asian inspired food and it's really good we ate here. It's $29 a person. We had, you know, one specialty dinner included in our package. So we, we chose this place. And it was delicious. And the service was excellent. Excellent. And this is a Nami Sushi, a sushi bar. Of course, it's a la carte, so. Now, to get to the other part of Deck 11, we have to go down again and forward. And then went forward past the pool and came back up. And this is the Exploration Central at the Crow's Nest. And the Explorer's Cafe. Now, they do um, short excursions right here. So up on deck 11, forward, starboard side. And they have things like maps of Seattle. Uh, it's a big room. This is the only place to get coffee early in the morning, and they don't open till six. But this goes all the way across the ship. There's a room in there where they can watch whatever's going on, TV. Coffee bar and a regular bar. Hi. See, they have these. Of course, they're included if you, in your drink package. There's one more thing I want to show you, and that's the retreat. Now the treat costs money um, and it varies whether you want it just a chair or a cabana or whatever and it's locked up and it's out here um, it's been cold and maybe rainy I don't know how much this gets used in Alaska I mean it'd be good for viewing glaciers maybe 
but this is the retreat and it does cost money. Officially, I'm on deck 12 and deck 12 is just a big wide open deck deck chairs I don't even know if they bother getting those out on our cruise but there it is and we could go around to the other side and yes you can this is the front of the ship and you can see where we're going but you do have to look through glass because of the rain, the glass isn't necessarily real clean. So that's about it from Holland America's Eurodam. Um, it's a beautiful ship. It's a smaller ship than we normally go on. Like I said, only about 8,000 tons. Uh, it was a great cruise to Alaska. Saw bears, saw whales. So it was great. Um, turn this way I don't know if that looks any better but now you can see the ship so uh, this is Gareth from Port Monkeys saying we'll see you in the next port bye